Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we are preparing, preparing for summer. Here we have processed 300 kilos of meat. Two different animals came our way and uh, vacuum sealed and then uh, baking paper between the layers and that consumes a lot of energy to freeze it. 46.8 the battery is full on 49 it's empty on 42 not too bad except we might not have sunshine the next two days why is this important it is important because we want to run the pump to get the water to our newest storage water storage facility and uh, I mean it's not a big motor 300 watts and uh, but with the freezer trying to freeze all the meat it is uh, and cloudy days ahead we're going slow so after five hours we this is what this inflatable water tank looks like not too shabby I like it and then the fence is up but only tight on two sides I'm still busy with the other two sides and uh, now I need to get the excavator under the tree to get the excavator under the tree I need to prune some of these low hanging branches and I have devised something I have this eye bar and then I have a flat bar and I put this on top the flat bar on the other side and then I screw them together and I have this at the top and one at the bottom and then I pull it with the excavator and it tightens this uh, woven fence beautifully except it does it so beautifully that I move the posts uh, in the wet soil so uh, it's not very good and then it slacks again but uh, I'll wait for it to dry or the soil to dry more and then I will tighten it perfectly I mean there's no cow coming this way and uh, this will do the job I used to do it with a winch but uh, there's not always the possibility to tie the winch somewhere and uh, the excavator is doing a good job looks so nice I mean this is 10 centimeters of water and it should go 1.6 meters high and this was five hours so it looks like it will take about 80 hours to fill it 
at about a rate of 1,500 liters an hour. Good. It will take, what, two weeks to fill it. But I will not pump the next few days because I don't have that much storage, or I do. But I always would like to leave a little bit for a rainy day, which is ahead of us. Not much rain, but overcast, cloudy, no sunshine, no solar panels. Oh, solar panels, but no energy from the solar panels. We are not connected to the network, electrical network. We are solely dependent on the uh, sunshine. That's good. Same with water. If we don't have water, we don't have water. We cannot connect somewhere. We don't even have an address. I, uh, according my driver's license and my medical records and everything, I live in the local butcher store, butcher shop. This is idiotic, stupid, but uh, where I live has no address. I don't understand it, but this is how it works. The cistern has dropped about 25 centimeters, but this morning it was up another 15. So uh, it looks like I can fill this perhaps over a one month period without any problem. And then we will see. It's also uh, good. I can let this water back through the same pipe. Not the top end, but a little bit further. I can connect it, connect the outlet, the valve over there to the same pipe that brings the water up to take it back to the cistern and then I can pump it to the irrigation system. And or I have to bring a pump here and then uh, pump it from here. Um, this is emergency water supply and uh, I'm not too concerned about all those things right now. The concern is to fill it with the pump, with energy from the sun. Super! Till next time. Goodbye.